Hi all, welcome to our channel. Myself, Dr. Naga Prashant. In this video, we are going to see about molecular docking and important components of molecular docking. Before starting that, let us see the history of molecular docking. The year of 1981, a cover article which was entitled Next Industrial Revolution Designing Drugs by Computer at Merck has been published by Fortune magazine. This event may be regarded as the beginning of potential interests among scientists towards CAD. This is the very beginning of CAD and its utilization among the scientists for the discovery of new leads. Later on, in the past decade, CAD, have, CAD has been re-emerged as a very effective way to develop new potential drugs. Most of the pharmaceutical companies have started using or utilizing CAD. The major two things which are making companies to use CAD is reduction of the cost and reduction of workload. The screening of a number of molecules can be easily executed in order to lead the compound discovery. Many compounds predicted to be inactive can be skipped, whereas those which are predicted to be active can be given prioritized and this future provides new impetus for the drug discovery which is making the companies to use this CAD. Now coming to docking. Docking is a basic computational technique that samples the conformations of the ligands in protein binding sites which aims to achieve an optimized conformation for both protein and ligand and relatively orient them between such that the free energy of overall system is minimized. And now let us see the very shortcut of what docking is used for. Molecular docking was primarily designed to predict the binding of small drug-like molecules to the target proteins. That is what we are going to see with the small graphics. If we consider this as enzyme, that is our target protein, and which I am trying to bind it with the substrate, that is the ligand. If we can give these two as input to any molecular docking software, then that particular program can develop a complex of the input enzyme and the ligand and it will also tell the binding affinity or energy status of the complex. Based upon the energy status of the complex, we can decide whether the docking was perfect or not. For a perfect docking, the complex need to have the minimal energy. So, how we are going to see that energy was less or more? That's what we are going to discuss in this PPT. This is the work of docking. Initially, in the first stage, we need to identify the target structure of the protein without which molecular docking studies is not possible and a set of ligands and then we are going to protonate and then we are going to give them partial charges and then we are going to detect the binding site in the given protein and then we are going to uh, subject the protein that is prepared protein and the prepared ligands for docking. During this docking two major things were done. First thing is search algorithm. During this search algorithm the poses of the ligand and amino acids at the active site will be oriented such that the complex is going to be generated and these orientations are going to be changed so that 
we can assess the minimum uh, energy state complex and that minimum energy state complex will be given a score or function based upon various scoring functions for which we can get it for pose 1 2 3 4 until how many you have given in your docking simulation in general we will give 100 simulations for each simulation we are going to get each docking score and the best we are going to choose and this is the orientation where you can see uh, in the complex the ligand has been given a particular orientation in which the bonding energy was found to be very very minimum and this is the general workflow of molecular docking and now let us see such algorithms and scoring functions and what is the prime function of them molecular docking and scoring by a computational approach provide a most promising route for drug design and discovery and several parameters such as ligand center or else uh, the binding site or binding pocket in the given uh, protein and the number of torsions binding residues grid parameters flexible residues search algorithm iterations poses and result oriented settings are to be defined very well before proceeding for talking and now Molecular docking is used for virtual screening, binding affinity and binding energy calculations and also for tracking out and visualizing various types of bonded and non-bonded interactions between the ligand and amino acid residues of the protein after completing docking. To predict the possible confirmation of a binary complex that is the complex between ligand and protein each docking program utilizes a specific search algorithm to assign a number a numerical fitness value to the computer computed protein ligand complex different scoring functions are utilized the objective of docking algorithm and scoring function is to obtain a fast method which is able to ascertain the novel lead compound or reproduce experimental confirmations at higher accuracy as possible this is the prime function of algorithm and scoring functions in any uh, docking programs now let us see components of molecular docking or search algorithm and scoring functions there are very more number of search algorithms but i am mentioning here only few which are very famous that is monte carlo search algorithm genetic search algorithm lamarckian genetic algorithm molecular dynamics simulated annealing and local optimization these are few as i said and coming to scoring functions force field scoring function empirical scoring function knowledge based scoring function conscious scoring function machine learning based scoring function apart from these uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning based scoring functions are very uh, appropriate and they are upcoming uh, still those are in uh, trial base once those are uh, very clear they will be open into the public so that anyone can use once after a molecular docking program utilizes both that is search algorithm and scoring function and gives output and now the next step after that is to assess the docking what we have did and it can be done with the help of three things that is docking accuracy or by enrichment factors or the very best and very well known that is prospective pharmacological validation now let us see what are search algorithms A search algorithm is a computational program which gives inputs for the docking program with various searches. Each search is equal to each pose. In conformational searches, structural parameters of the ligand such as 
torsion or else dihedral angle translational or else rotational degree of freedom or incrementally modified step by step each step is considered to be each pose and it will be given into the input for docking the docking process may be regarded as a multi step process in which each step introduces one or more additional degree of complications to the given ligand and protein both here these such algorithms are not only handling the ligand or else only protein these such algorithms are applicable for both proteins and ligands where the modifications that is in the degree of freedom or else dihedral angle or else whatever it may be each and everything will be applied for both protein and a ligand in general these such algorithms are of two types rigid body docking algorithms which considers essential geometric complementarities and deals with the flexibility of neither the ligand nor the receptor here both the ligand and receptor are going to be rigid and this is going to limit the specificity and accuracy of the results whereas flexible docking which is most common type of docking today which utilizes which will be utilized for more specific refinement and lead optimization ligand flexibility searches or can be divided into three classes systemic search method random or stochastic search method and stimulation search method so this is about search algorithms and let us see various search algorithms that are used by various famous programs autodoc uses lamarckian genetic algorithm doc shape matching udoc shape matching flexx and flog are going to use incremental construction glide is using descriptor matching on monte carlo gold genetic algorithm hammerhead incremental construction ms doc shape matching mc doc monte carlo mz doc shape matching icm mc minimization ligand fit shape matching qxp mc minimization and free searching and perning slide descriptor matching surflex docs surface based molecular similarity cis doc shape matching z doc shape matching these are all the algorithms that are used by various docking programs and the detailed in information about these such algorithms you please search my website now coming to scoring functions once the docking has been completed with the help of such algorithms each pose that was docked should be given a very good number and the evaluation and ranking of this predicted ligand conformations is a crucial aspect of structure based screening that is docking which will be done by assigning a numerical score even when binding confirmations are correctly predicted the calculations ultimately do not succeed if they do not differentiate correct poses from incorrect ones and if true ligands cannot be identified so the design of reliable scoring functions or and schemes is of functional important as most important component of molecular docking scoring functions have three major functions the first one is to determine the binding mode and site of ligand binding to a protein the second one is to predict the absolute binding affinity between protein and ligand in lead optimization and the last and third one is virtual screening which can identify the potential drug lead for the given protein target by searching a large ligand databases so this is about the major components of docking and molecular docking where we have gone through the basics of molecular docking components that is search algorithm 
and scoring function. Now, coming to various programs of docking. Here you can see two different uh, columns. The first one, which covers Autodock, Autodock Vena, Glide, Dock, Gold, FlexX, and Surflex. These are all the programs need to be installed in our PC. Whereas ZDock, HDock, Cluster Pro, and Swiss Dock are server based docking programs. You no need to install even any program into your PC. We can simply upload your protein and ligand set into the server. The server will perform docking and you will get the results through mail. And these are all the molecular uh, docking softwares that are available in the market and which are very famous. If you like the video, content of this video, please subscribe our channel. If you have any doubts in the content of the video, please do comment. Thanks for watching our video.